Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2. In this video, I'll be showing you how to solve Microsoft Visual C++ runtime error. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just on this video. So let's get started. So if you want to solve your issue here with Microsoft Visual C++, well, this one is kind of easy, but there are a few things that you need to do first. So first things first is you want to visit a very specific page here. It's going to be your app page. So it goes, just go and open up your search bar here. Just type in a uh, run and go ahead and open it up. And in here, you want to go ahead and basically type in the following, which is uh, going to be appwiz.cpl. So just type in appwiz.cpl. Again, exactly the same thing here. Let's go and just click on OK. And it should open up the uninstall or change a program section. Now, in here, you want to go and just scroll down a bit here until you see the option or the setting here for Microsoft Visual uh, C++. Now, specifically, we want to go ahead and look for the 2015 to 2022 here. And we are going to look for the one that actually matches your architecture. Now, I have, I am running on a 64 uh, or x64 architecture here so we'll be uh, we'll be using this one let's go and just right click on it and you want to go and choose the change option now from here you want to go and just click on the continue button here if you have multiple or if you do see this and just click on the repair button here and just wait for a while and typically this will solve or uh, fix any issues that you may be encountering right now but just in case like for example you don't see microsoft visual c++ in here so whatever what Ever you're trying to do here, you don't see it. Well, it means that you, you don't have it installed yet, so you need to install it in your PC if that's the case. So you want to go open up any browser here. Just type in Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable, and from here it should redirect you or should show you a link here for Microsoft. Let's go open it up. Now in here you should be able to uh, download the actual uh, file here. So let's go and click on download here, and we want to only use one or uh, download one that is from our architecture so that's a 64 in my case but go and check yours first but let's go click on download now once the download is complete as you can see at the top right here you're going to just open this up in a new folder double click on it and just click on the run button here and basically just follow the on-screen steps in order for you to proceed with the installation now once you've actually done that you should be pretty much good to go just restart your pc and you're good and that's about it so if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.